Hey friends, my name is Steve Guttenberger. We're back in Miguel's apartment. How are you doing, Miguel? Hi. So uh, we had this discussion, you and I, about these mods you've made to your Cambridge CXC yes. CD transport, right? The one you reviewed, actually. Yeah, the one I reviewed. Not really that exact one. No. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you're, you're a scientist by training, so you can't help but poke around inside. Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a curse. <laughs> It's a good curse. You're in order, you know, what if I was doing this all the time? You're approaching it a little more uh, rigorously. I try, I try. So you've documented all these changes, right? Yes. So, uh, so this is, uh, I understand at first for Steve showing, you know, um, somebody who's uh, tinkered around. Mm -hmm. uh, and so um, this morning I decided, well, maybe, maybe I should script this a little bit because there are tons of little details, right? right, right so. Right. So, uh, so I created this script, right? That uh, will be available, I guess, under the video. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. Right in the description box. Great. Okay. So we're going to open up this puppy and see what's going on inside. See what see what you've uh, messed messed with. I'm going to go away now. Take yeah. all the screws out, and we'll be right back. And we will be back. Okay. So we're back. The screws are out. Uh, I'm going to show you what I did. Right, I I uh, wouldn't argue it is. Um, it's things many people do. Mm -hmm. uh, they generally work fine. If mm -hmm. you look at high-end CD players, or high-end anything really, you see that they're hard structures, non-resonant. So I'm not doing something that other people in the industry don't do mm -hmm. in the factory. Mm -hmm. Right. First thing. Uh, second thing is. Whatever you do, I am not responsible. Of course. Right? I am just um, I'm not casually, responsible either, guys. Right. Yeah. I'm, 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 sh I'm casually showing you what, mm -hmm. what I've done and, and as, as, as a, an entertainment, right. if right. you will. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and the third... So if somebody breaks their CD player or transport... Yeah, don't come to me yet to fix it. Right. Yes, please. Yeah. It, okay. it, basically, we should just say this is at your own risk. Yes, this is at your own risk. Absolutely. And the third thing I will say is I, I am a scientist and I'm a physicist by training. I know a little bit about electronics, but I'm not an engineer. So if I screw any concept up in the, in the, in the, in the, explanations, in the yeah. explanations, please feel free to correct me. Okay. okay. Oh, you're asking I, for it. Oh, <laughs> they I, have will. A, I have a thick skin. All right, yeah. Good. Okay. All right. So having said that, uh, let me go into this, right? So, um, oh, by the way, this is a CD transport. A lot of this is, would be applicable to CD players. Absolutely. Or Blu-ray players. A lot of, a lo players. in fact, I have an Oppo 93 that I've uh, uh, made a, a few mods as well. Uh, maybe, maybe some other time. Okay. Because otherwise, but I'm it, just saying it's not just for for CD transport. Right. Initial thoughts on this CD transport. Um, the Component quality is actually remarkably high. Component, the design is remarkably high. I, I'll go into the details. The second thing is it's $449, which is not chump change, but for the performance that I get out of the CD transport, I think, I think it's amazing, mm. frankly, right? Uh, so uh, you want to point down so that yeah, uh, okay. we see the, so, the reveal. okay, yeah, reveal. So I removed the screws. Right. The way you take the cover off, you just slid it back. Okay, okay ta-da. Yep. Right? Yep. All right, so. And I'm gonna actually lay it down like this ah. so that you see a little more of it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So that, that dampening material wasn't part of it? Originally? No, 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 this is, I added all that. Ah, okay. So, um, let me just, forget about all, any changes here, right? I'll, I'll walk you through a few things in this player, right? Uh, the power supply, 40 watt toroidal transformer, mm -hmm. 40 VA. I, I understand the difference between power and uh, VA, but uh, for, for, for simplicity, I'm gonna say 40 watt. This is a massive transformer for the little things that are in mm -hmm. here, okay? The reason I think this transformer is here is because it, the same um, 
linear power supply. By the way, it's a linear power supply. Interesting. The same linear power supply is used in the in the bigger players that have DAs that have all sorts of things, hmm. right? Hmm. So, um, so it's over. Uh, it's it's spec. over specified for this particular use That's in a nice. way, cool. right? Which yeah. is nice, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's nice for a couple of reasons, right? Um, um, so that's in terms of the supply. Other parts of this player, the servo board, the S3 servo board, is the same servo board, you know, identically the same as the one in the bigger players. That's my understanding, right? Okay. If you look at some of the components, they're pretty high quality components. The bypass cap here is a nice by cap, by bypass cap there's a fuse, right? There are ceramic bypass caps right here. So it's, it's done carefully, right? Mm. This is this remarkable. Is very impressive, yeah. Yeah. Um, the drive itself is also the same drive as in, uh, in the high-end uh, Cambridge CD players, right? Mm. So again, pretty, pretty remarkable, right? Yeah. I'm going to give you three level mods from the simplest one, right? to the more complex one. Okay. I've, I've essentially done the middle one and I'm getting ready to do the, 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 oh, the, you're, the you're more complex one. You're not all the way through. I'm this. not all the way through, no. Okay. But, I, but it'll become clear why, uh, how, how you do all of them, right? The, the zero level mod is very simple. You don't need to open it. You just need to put some weight on this thing. Right? Okay. So if you, if you want to put a heavy book on it, huh. I think that would be perfect. Uh -huh. And it's free. It's free, I right? Like free. I, I mean, I hope you have books, not yeah. Kindle. Kindle would not work. No, okay. It's too light. Um, so, a heavy book. A heavy book. That will work, okay. right? That will definitely give you a little flavor. And of, again, this could work with us. any CD player or anybody else's. And player. there's another advantage of that. You can do an AB with that. Right. I can't do an AB with book this. Book on, book off. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah. So, fine. So that's the simplest one, right? First level mod uh, does not involve any soldering or any um, destructive changes to the player, right. right? So these won't void the warranty. I think anything would void everything that opens the case and and, and adds this. And this, this anything, yeah, anything you do. Yeah, inside anything will void the warranty. Void the the, the warranty. book on top of it won't, but that's any, for sure. any, anything where you open the player and you change anything right. in the player will void the warranty. I'm okay. sure. Right. right. Should have said that up front, but we're saying. Yes, that yes, yes, right. yes. Okay. I, 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 I'll I thought, put a disclaimer in the description box. Right. Again. Fine. Okay. Um, so, uh, the first level mods uh, display brightness. Okay. Can you can you turn over here? I think so. Let's see. There is this potentiometer here. Potentiometer. Potentiometer here. I, I can't say that word. Okay. Uh, right. It has a little screw it's right there. It's kind of dark. It's, um, it's not going to show up. But we, we, we know where it is. Okay. Just right. by where point there. Um, okay. Right. And um, if you twiddle that screw, you will change the brightness of the, of the display. Okay. Okay. You can make it a little brighter, not a lot brighter. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. okay. So first... Good tweak. Yeah. Good tweak, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, that one, no one. If, if you didn't, if you didn't modify any, anything physical in the player, right. you can just open it up, mm -hmm. do that tweak, mm -hmm. and close it. Right. That won't void the warranty. I would not think. You never know. But okay. uh, you never know. But yeah. you know, okay. I. You know. All right. right. Well, that's, okay. That's useful. That's yes. I thought so. Uh, second tweak: uh, dampening. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, and this is this is a very common tweak. If you look on the internet, this player and just about any player has somebody charging you for for putting dynamat in the in the in the mm -hmm. darn thing. Right? What is dynamat? Dynamat is a is a um, um, what do you call it? A a a uh, material, right? That is like a sticky rubbery, mm -hmm. right? It comes with, with obviously, a, a uh, wax paper on the other side, okay. right? And it has, it has a metal on this side, hmm. right? It's used in cars to reduce vibrations, okay. right? So it has two interesting advantages, right? The first one is it's, um, it's gooey and 
um, it sticks to, to, to material, right? It absorbs vibration. Um, let me give you an example. Mm, yeah, it's very dead sound. Right? Yeah. Um, and the, That's impressive. And the third uh, interesting uh, feature of it is that it will not come off. It is very, very, very sticky. So what's it's on there? What's it's on there, you know, taking it off is, is, is it can be done. I've done it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, 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 it's a job, right? Okay. Is there a reason why you didn't just cover the whole top of yes, it? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I'll go so that in a minute. You're smarter than me. I understand. Yes. Uh, so first of all, let me show you where I put the dynamite, right? I put some here, right? Yep. Some here. Okay. Right? And some here. Right. Okay? You'd say, okay, why can't you put some under the, under the drive? Mm -hmm. The answer is there is some already. Ah. They, had, they, they, had, they thought about that. Okay. So they put a little bit there. Cool. Okay? Um, the one so this these two pieces Sorry. knock yourself out how to put them on okay right not critical okay. right the one that is critical how you shape it is the one on top interesting and, and, I'll, and the, the reason for that is is twofold the first one is the edges the edges right mm -hmm. should not go closer than a certain amount why and is the, that? Uh -huh, because there are these two lugs here. Oh. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And so if if the dynamite went all the way here, it will hit the, these lugs. Mm -hmm. Lugs, is that the right term? I or, think so, yeah. Uh, metal, metal, raised metal bits, okay. right? And so it will hit these raised metal bits here, and mm -hmm. it will be hard to put the case back oh, in. Oh, okay. Well, that's so you have to... You have to avoid that. Okay. Okay. First thing. Mm -hmm. The second thing is you have to avoid the CD drive because the CD drive is fairly high. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you don't want the dynamite to be pressing on top of the CD drive. Sure, 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 right. Sure, sure. So you just avoid that. Okay. But frankly, look, no, that's, that's, that's pretty impressive. remarkable, right? If you got, everybody could imagine if that wasn't there, just being like, wang, wang, it, wang. It, uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, you can do it on your player if right. you have one. Right. Just do it on the top and you, the, the thing rings like a bell, right? Okay, so that was the second step. Okay. Two more steps. Uh, actually, a few more steps. Uh, third step. This... So this is the linear power supply. Okay. Okay. This cable here mm -hmm. is the cable that actually powers basically the whole thing. Okay. Okay. This cable here is routed through here and here normally. Hmm. Okay. In the routing, they have put the cable right next to the control cable. This is a control huh. okay. uh, cable, right? Mm -hmm. The control cable carries digital signals. Right, so in principle, right, you don't really want a power cable that is powering the whole thing, capturing some noise mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the control commands, mm -hmm. right? So it's simple enough. You cut the, these cable ties. Okay. I, uh, these are new cable it ties. Was there, yeah, it was there before. It was the there before. The orange cable was next to the white cable. Right. Okay. And uh, you cut these cable ties. You put new cable ties, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then, in fact, you unplug the cable from any which side okay. and you can route it this way mm -hmm, mm -hmm. instead of this way. Okay. Make it's, sense? It's very straightforward. Okay. Very straightforward. Yeah. The reason I've routed it this way is because I plan to put some bypass capacitors. I'll, I'll go into that in a minute, but okay. here, right? So okay. it's convenient for me to have it routed this All way. Right. Okay. okay. Second thing, these two cables come from the factory mm -hmm. with a cable tie here. Mm -hmm. This is the SPDIF cable. The, di the data, the, data. the digital data mm -hmm. goes from here to the output right. through this cable. Right. Again, right next to the control right. cable. It's through the white cable? Yeah. yeah. The white cable is a control cable. Okay. Right? Right next to the... Why, why did they do this? Very simply, this board is assembled someplace mm -hmm. and then shipped some other place. Okay. So if you had these two wires dangling like that, mm -hmm. 
you run the risk of you know the wires got it going loose or whatever okay. right okay. so if you cable tie them here mm -hmm. you minimize that issue okay but in the final player you don't really want them together right does that make sense yes yes right okay so that's the uh fourth uh point fifth point is screw tightening right there are a bunch of screws here hmm. just go at it with a screwdriver and tight not not over tighten mm -hmm. but but definitely there were some screws that were kind of loose interesting okay tighten them can you point to just a couple um Sorry. so uh these two here mm -hmm. uh all of these here mm -hmm. okay um this is pretty stiff so it doesn't need to be tightened I did not tighten the board screws because they have a uh, drop of uh, um, um, nail polish or whatever that is. Oh, okay. Uh, okay yeah. So I don't want to touch yeah. that. Uh, and you wouldn't be tightening anything in the transport itself. No, this, no. Because that's. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't touch the transport. I mean, they're, they're just just check that this is not loose. That's all. Oh, that that top bar. The the, the top bar is not loose, okay. right? If it is, then you can tighten these two screws. Okay. Okay, but but just uh, that's it's probably not an issue there. And again, everybody, this is at your own risk. Anything you muck up inside your Cambridge or anything else, it's on your on your own. So this this video is for entertainment purposes. That's right. That's and information, right. but we can't be held responsible if you break something. Right. So what what have we achieved? Right. We have moved power and digital cables away from uh, control cables. Mm -hmm. Right which can't hurt for sure right, right? Uh, we have um, reduced uh, resonances and microphonics uh, by the addition of this material mm -hmm. right in fact there was a review about mods to this very player mm -hmm. and the mods included adding a crystal and all sorts of things right the review basically said the most significant improvement was from the dampening. Really? Huh. Yes. Yeah, there you go. No technical skills there. Right. Yeah, okay, so that, that concludes the sort of like no destruction type uh, mods, right? right. No, no, solder, no solder, no okay. solder, no complicated things, right? But all of these still will avoid the war. Most of these will still avoid the war. Yes, because Once you've you open opened the up. player. I mean, if somebody, somebody, if, if, if a service persons you know sees He's all this stuff here they're yeah. going to be like no 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 um now the next step these uh, destruct so to speak destructive ones that these, is you haven't done them yet i haven't done them yet but i, I was get, getting ready to to right. do them right so these it, it involves the following right the first one is which is a, a pretty typical mod done to this player actually mm -hmm. is to um i'm actually going to replace this wire with a with a, a solid copper, uh, a little thicker it, wire. Wait, it's the orange wire? The, the, the orange and the yellow, okay. right? This, uh, this is the power. Okay. Power is coming through this, okay. right? Um, this is makeshift, so please don't criticize that. It, I know it, it's not ideal. Okay. This drive, this CD drive, the looks to be powered from the board directly mm -hmm. by one of these two cables. Right. Okay. I need to verify that. I don't. I'm not certain. Okay. So, um, if that is the case, the the second mod is to add a bypass capacitor to whatever is powering the drive. Right. Because okay. when speed changes or when it needs to reread or something like that, mm -hmm. it is very likely that it's producing some noise. Oh. Okay. Right. And a bypass capacitor will reduce that noise. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, third mod uh, uh, is um, this is actually very very well designed um, this board here which looks very simple mm -hmm. actually has both a virtual ground and a um, uh, output buffer for the uh, speed of signal right not for the toss link right mm -hmm. the speed of signal has it, it's actually done very carefully uh, what I plan to do is is looking at the speed of signal it might look 
better, meaning uh, a, a more square wave and, and, and no ring at all uh, as, as it rises, uh, if you add some uh, bypassing on the buffer, directly right on the, buffer, on the power pins of the buffer, hmm. right? Uh, that's something I need to study, I, I, I don't know. Maybe we can do another video if that. Okay. If this video is of interest to people, we can okay. do another one. The second thing I, w I want to do is remove the toss link diode. I don't use it. I don't care for it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, I, and it, the toss link diode is in parallel with the output here. So I might as well uh, okay. get rid of it, right? Um, and the final one, which might or might not be something I want to do, is replace the RCA speed of with a BNC speed of. Oh, okay. A BNC connector, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is generally better. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that's it. That's it. Now, uh, the people, people might ask... So what does all this do? I mean, have you heard a difference? So far, mm -hmm. I think it sounds great. I have not been able to AB it. No. Right? Um, so it's hard for me to, to say, okay, this has improved or right. that has improved. Right. I can't really say that. Right, right, right. right. Uh, it certainly didn't damage the sound. Okay. Right? Which is a positive, right? Uh -huh. as, as far as I can tell. Uh -huh. um, so far, I think um, all of these mods, I, I, I don't pretend to, to say any of these mods are... Um, a must do or anything like that, right? I, I, there, there are things that, that make sense to me. There are things that other people have done, uh, and uh, and there are things that, for example, dampening, right, sure. is, is is something that is done in in in, in many high end players, right? Right, right, right? Either by having slabs of uh, aluminum be the case, right, mm -hmm. or uh, or things like that, right? So. You know, look, um, here's what I think, having not done the mods, but it, I've been around this circus a bunch of times. We're talking about improvements that uh, if you could uh, quantify, put a number on them, they're not going to be like it's 20% better or 40% better. It's going to be 5% better or 10% better. Right. Those are just made up numbers, right? So the heavens aren't going to part. Suddenly, uh, Jimi Hendrix or uh, Janis Joplin is not going to appear in your living room. But there are little things that people can do that don't need a lot of skill. If you're, a, if you're an audiophile that likes to tinker and get in there, they're worth doing. If you're not, then you'll live perfectly fine without them. Yeah, like Steve said, this is about, uh, we, we're showing something that I find fun to do, right? right? It's about and fun, yeah. Yeah, um, and I try to apply some science. I, I, I do look at signals, right? I, I have a... I have a a, a digital oscilloscope, and I do look at what the speed of signal looks like mm -hmm. if uh, if uh, if um, if I make a change, or for example, what the the noise level you know on the okay. on these lines is when okay. I add the, oh, okay. the, the I mean I, I definitely can look at that right. Mm -hmm. uh, when I said that I was going to explore whether you know adding a bypass cap to the power that drives the CD player, you mm -hmm. know makes any difference well I can certainly do that with a digital scope okay right? so um, so it's not totally unscientific you right. know okay uh, so far it is because uh, you know there's no way to put a speed of scope and 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 right. and see if the if, well, if the, you want to be scientific uh, what you could do Miguel is buy another one and you could have leave yeah, like one unaltered uh, and then do all these changes and hear it possibly yeah, well, yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. Throw that out there. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. <coughs> um, then you can sell the other one. Maybe your control. Or something. return it to Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. You're thinking. Yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's fun to do. Um, a couple of more things, actually. Um, I'm going to mention something, and I'm sure I might get uh, a little bit of um, uh, pushback on this one. I think. That's always possible. Yes. Um, uh, one of the mods that I've seen on, on the internet for this player in particular is uh, to add a more precise clock. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not a buyer. Why am I not a buyer? I'm not a buyer because I've looked at the SP diff signal. 
coming out of this thing. I've looked at the jitter on that signal, right? Um, I've looked at the jitter with a cable on that signal, mm -hmm. right? You know, the jitter is, depending on the uh, example, if I use an AudioQuest Cinnamon cable, I have a, um, a rise time. Rise time means the, 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 the slope, if you will, in time okay. of rising from, from, from the low level to the high level in the digital signal, right? Okay. Rise time is about 12.6 nanoseconds, okay? If I do a blue jeans cable, which is actually one fourth the price, give or take, um, it's faster, eight nanoseconds, hmm. right? So just changing those two cables gives me a five nanosecond difference, right? And is that audible? Well, that means if, if, you, if you think, um, uh, I, I don't know if it's audible. Okay. Okay. But if you think that a power, I mean, doing a little bit back of the envelope, if you think a power supply has give or take somewhere a one millivolt noise, which is not unreasonable, and you think that, you know, the zero crossing detection, you know, imposes essentially that noise on the zero crossing, right? What you get is, you know, one, roughly speaking, um, five picoseconds difference, if I use the five picoseconds, five picoseconds more jitter, if I use the AudioQuest cable versus the Blue Gene cable. Mm. Make sense? Yeah. So um, these, are, these are all back of the envelope numbers. But my point is, right, that there are so many bits and pieces mm -hmm. that, that, that matter here mm -hmm. to get to a clock recovery stage Right? And the clock recovery stage is not, because it's at a speed of signal, it's not going to be perfect either. Right? That going from a 10 picosecond clock to a 5 femtosecond clock, whatever the, 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 the value is, um, it's not going to matter. Mm -hmm. right? Now, if all clocks were synced, Aside from clock discovery and the speed of signal, mm -hmm. then that's different, right? If I had a master clock outside that was extremely precise and was clocking the whole chain, right. I don't have recovery on the DAC. So in that case, yes, very precise clock matters. Adding a, pi a femtosecond clock to this thing, my humble opinion is it probably doesn't matter. I'm happy to learn that it does. And if any of you guys can explain it to me why it will uh, make a difference, then by all means, I'll learn something new. Okay. Yeah. Great. Uh, so, um, the, so that was my blurb about the clock. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of hate mail from that. Um, hate comments. Um, the last thing I will mention is what I, brushed on is I, I've tried three different cables with this. I've tried an AudioQuest Cinnamon, three feet long, a Blue Jeans uh, silver coated cable, RCA to RCA, and a Blue Jeans copper cable, RCA to BNC. My DAC is a DCS Rosini. It has both um, RCA and a BNC input, right? Um, I found the blue jeans cables to be faster in rice time, uh, probably because the capacitance of the audio quest is higher. I'm not sure. Uh, if you make a, a, a narrower cable, a thinner cable, right? And you don't reduce the center conductor, you're going to get a higher capacitance cable. Uh, so, uh, and I, to my ear, the blue jeans cables, both of them, sound a little more relaxed than the AudioQuest. And so I'm using those. There you go. Um, so that's it. I think we're good. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> no, I think this is fun. Like I said, for, for audio files that like to tweak with CD players or CD transports, it's worth checking out as long as you don't hold us responsible or if you break something. And, and understanding you're taking a risk by doing it. 
other than that, I think it's all good. My name is Steve Guttenberg. My guest today is Miguel, and uh, this was great. Miguel, uh, I, I got to thank Miguel for uh, going through all this in, in such an ordered manner. You really are a scientist. <laughs> I try, I try. Anyway, like we said, we're going to put all the detailed information in the uh, description box below this video. And I think we're good. Uh, my name is Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show coming to you from Manhattan this time. And I'll come back again real soon. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.